right, all right. You don't know about the story about Eric Reed. I will explain it. But he's played 11 games this season, been random drug tested seven times. And he's, you know, people telling him to consider legal a- a- actions against the NFL. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody checking in one time for the one time. And um, Eric Reed was uh, uh, kneeling with Callan Kaepernick um, and standing by him uh, when he was in San Francisco. His contract was up last year. He was one of the best um, safeties in the NFL, in my opinion. He can also play the nickel uh, cornerback position. Big hitter, speed guy, athletic guy, okay? He was getting blackballed out the NFL. Carolina Panthers caught, picked him up, okay? Um, he was also in the collusion case with Kyle Kaepernick. He got picked up, and since he got picked up, he's been drug random drug tested seven times out of 11 games he's actually played this year. And um, every time he gets drug tests, probably after the third or fourth or third time, he's been telling people on social media. And obviously, the NFL is basically um, holding his nuts on uh, Eric, Eric Reed. Okay, that's what's happening. Um, NFL is, is, they feel the product is so good that they could be blatantly uh, racist, man. That's what they're doing, man. They're blatantly holding out Colin Kaepernick, the Redskins. Uh, didn't want to get Colin Kaepernick an opportunity. They gave Josh Johnson an opportunity who hadn't played in the league in quite some time. And now they're trying to catch Eric Reed and testing him often. I wonder if they test Tom Brady that often. He's 40 years old and still actually playing. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if they continue to test Peyton Manning after rumors came out that he took some type of illegal substance to help his neck regenerate to be able to come back from the depths of hell and then and play in the NFL the next couple of years, Okay. I wonder if they tested any of the other athletes like that, and I'm pretty sure they're not, and that's where he can get his lawyer and also expose the double standard in the NFL. Um, and I guarantee you they're going to find some 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 type of uh, find some type of inconsistency there that wasn't no player in 11 weeks tested seven times, uh, especially if there were a, 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 a white quarterback or a white player in general. I guarantee you if he chooses to do that, you know, it'll be, you know, he'll find that out, you know what I'm saying? And that, that ain't totally random, bro. That that is you know very very subjective. That's at their you know at their discretion, man. They test what they want to test, but that is what it is, man. This is just a direct shot to try to derail him and push him out the NFL and try to and suspend him and throw the book at him, so if they can catch him on some type of performance action drug. That's the reason why he ain't gonna get in the league. And he, you know earlier this year he confronted Malcolm Butler and then explained why he confronted Malcolm Butler. Malcolm Butler basically tried to get, they try they basically. The NFL and NFL owners basically wanted uh, the uh, NFL coalition was Malcolm Butler and a few other players. And, you know, Eric Reed, obviously, I think uh, Colin Kaepernick was part of the coalition as well. Uh, NFL owners sat in the room with him and wanted to pay them off or wanted to do something to get them to stop kneeling for the product. So um, they said they weren't taking no money. You know, they want to put some money into the neighborhood or whatever happened. Okay. Uh, then Malcolm Butler basically uh, came to Malcolm, uh, came to Eric Reed and the rest of the players. Like, how much money will it take for you guys to stop kneeling? So the NFL players, I mean, NFL owners tried to, they used Malcolm Butler as Stephen from Django. You feel what I'm saying? And and paid him, you know, told him and paid him to get the ask the players how much money they need to stop kneeling. So instead of you know sitting the players down like the NBA did and say, you know what, um, look here, this is bad for the product. We got people wearing sponsorships on our jerseys and stuff like that. This this isn't what we need, and you know we, they explained it to him. And the NBA players were like, okay, the NFL was just trying to be a slave man, uh, owner, a uh, slave master mentality, and they paid uh, Malcolm Butler, and they didn't take the money. You know, Eric Reed told you know told people why he was mad at Malcolm Butler, and obviously Colin Kaepernick is still being blackballed, and to a certain extent, you know Eric Reed is still being targeted, and they're trying to blackball him out the league and find a reason to do that. So. You know he needs to go ahead and find and, and file legal option, uh, file uh, you know a suit. You know find his legal, find out what his legal options are, um, because he ain't gonna be playing next year. I guarantee you they ain't gonna bring him back next year. So he might as well get all the money he can get. I wonder where this collusion case is gonna go when these text messages and and all this stuff come out from the collusion case. But just wanted to bring that to light. It's been a drug tested seven times out of eleven weeks in the NFL he's played this year, and I think it's despicable. I think it's disgusting. And the NFL is blatantly being racist and biased towards them. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's a great product, man. But it's really turning me off. Not just that. They think their product is so good that they can change the rules where you can't hit, you can't touch no more. And I'm, pre- I'm pretty much getting at my end with some football, man. Football wasn't my 
first or second love, basketball and then boxing. And then I like football. But at the end of the day, it's just getting to the point where it's just totally disgusting, man. It's totally at the point where um, I might have to just stop watching, man. Okay? I don't want to stop watching. I love Detroit Lions. I love watching football. But I might just go college, man, if they continue this, man. But I want to see where this collusion case go because before I, you know, I, I, I really stand on stand on that, man, because I want Kellen Kaepernick to win. I believe they're going to play them off between anywhere from $500 million to a $1 billion to let this collusion case go and not let this stuff get out of here, okay? I think Kellen Kaepernick can easily become a billionaire, and him and Eric Reid are almost billionaires out of this situation, man, for them to pay off and go away. And if I'm them, I take it, man, because guess what? If the collusion case, if the collusion case is found that it is true, it breaks the CBA. But guess what? The NFL union, NFL players union, is not strong enough to get the deal they need, bro. They're gonna get a sharp, sorry deal. So you ain't gonna have a job in the NFL after this is, is done either. They're not gonna get your job. So I take the. I'm, I'm pretty sure they can get a billion dollars at the NFL owners, if not more, and settle this case, man. And just keep it moving, man. These these dudes didn't support you before this, and they ain't gonna support you after this. You feel what I'm saying? But it's my personal opinion, man. Uh, Good Fellow Sports TV. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We got a Facebook group. We tweet out every video. So you retweet them out. You screen share the videos, man. Just tell them where they can find the channel at. You want to make a donation to the channel as well. That link's there as well. You can reach out to me in the email as well, man. And um, just look out for us, man. Check our playlist out. I'm going to update them as soon as I drop this video. NFL, NBA, boxing, MMA, golf, tennis, um, you know, food for thought, hooks, uh, hood classics. I mean, hood series, classic or not, we got plenty of uh, series, and I'll be rebooting the top of 2019 that you guys should like. But everybody be safe. Everybody check on somebody who lost a loved one. Hard time of year, man. Much blessed to all you brothers and sisters out there. Y'all stay up one time for the one time we gone.